Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the most recent update on how to resolve the check your connection error with the Microsoft Store. Here is a quick tutorial with up-to-date solutions to help you overcome connectivity challenges and assure uninterrupted access to the Microsoft Store. Before we begin with these new solutions, first watch our previous video we made about this problem before you proceed with these new solutions. I will be showing in the next minutes. Join us as we go over step-by-step -step directions for a potential solution to this problem. The first thing you should take is to see if you've already used a proxy to access the internet. This proxy can prevent the Microsoft Store from using the internet. So, to allow the Microsoft Store to access the internet, open the Windows Start button and navigate to the Windows Settings. As the Windows Settings opened, navigate to Network and Internet. Click on it to open a new window. At the right pane, select Proxy. Under the Manual Proxy Setup, you can see the button is switched on, and underneath, there's a proxy address in Port. Proceed and click the button to toggle the proxy settings off. Now, return to the Microsoft Store to check if the issue is resolved. However, if the error persists, proceed with this second solution. Application Repair Repairing the Microsoft Store using the App Settings feature on Windows can be your go-to solution. Whether it's connectivity problems, download glitches, or other hiccups. So, to repair the Microsoft Store, open the Start button and locate the Microsoft Store app. Right-click on it and select More. In the Slide menu, select App Settings to open the Microsoft Store window settings. Scroll to the bottom. Here, you will see a Repair button. Click on it to execute and repair the Microsoft Store. Remember, this action won't affect the app data and it may take a minute or a couple of seconds to complete. Relax and enjoy a cup of coffee while the process takes place. Once it's complete, you'll notice a check mark next to the repair button. Launch the Microsoft Store again to verify if the issue is resolved. In case the problem persists, consider resetting the Microsoft Store, which involves deleting app data. You can use the Reset button for this or opt for the Command Prompt method. Quickly let me show you how to reset the Microsoft Store using Command Prompt. First, open the Start menu and search for CMD. Run it as an administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type wsreset.exe and then press Enter. Wait for the command to run and open the Microsoft Store to check if the issue is now resolved. Before we proceed, subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up would be fantastic. Now that you've done that, let's continue. Sometimes incorrect dates and times can trigger this issue. To rectify this, head to Windows Settings. Click on Time and Language, or simply search for date in the search box. In the drop-down results, select Date and time settings. Confirm if set time automatically is on. If yes, toggle it off. Click on the change button under set the date and time manually to adjust the date and time. Afterward, click on change to save. Move to the time zone. Click on it and choose the time zone that matches your location. Finally, at the top right of the window, click on date, time, and regional formatting. Change the country to your current location and close the window. Restart the computer and verify whether the error has been resolved. Next up is the Microsoft Store Troubleshooter, an integrated tool designed to identify and resolve errors within the Microsoft Store application. To run this troubleshooter, navigate to Windows Settings. Select Update and Security and then click on Troubleshoot. In the right pane, choose Additional Troubleshooters. In the Troubleshooters window, scroll to the bottom, select Microsoft Store Apps, and click on Run the Troubleshooter to initiate the program. Allow the Troubleshooter to initialize, detect, and diagnose any problems. 
Keep in mind that your computer might detect and fix issues during this process. Although on my computer, it won't identify any problems at this time because I have already diagnosed my Microsoft Store earlier before recording this video. If you've exhausted all previous solutions, the final fix for your Microsoft Store connection issue involves uninstalling and reinstalling the Microsoft Store using Microsoft PowerShell. To do so, open the Start menu and search for PowerShell. Run it as an administrator. In the PowerShell box, type the command get dash app x package space dash all users and then press enter. Allow PowerShell to execute the command. Once it is finished, go to the top left corner of the PowerShell box, right click on the logo, and select Edit, then choose Find. Alternatively, use Control plus F to open the Find box. In the Find box, type Microsoft.Windows Store and click Find Next. This helps locate the package full name of the Microsoft Store. Highlight the package full name. Right click on the PowerShell logo at the top right corner of the box, select Edit, then choose Copy or use the Enter key to copy the text. Scroll to the bottom and type the command Remove dash app x package followed by a space and paste the package full name we have copied. Press Enter to execute the command to delete the Microsoft Store. Exit PowerShell after the command is finished. Check and you'll see that the Microsoft Store is removed. Now restart your computer. Let's proceed with reinstalling the Microsoft Store. Open PowerShell and run it as an administrator just like before. In the PowerShell box, enter the command provided in the video description for your convenience. Copy and paste it into your PowerShell box, then press Enter to initiate the Microsoft Store installation. The process will take a few minutes, so be patient, and don't be alarmed by occasional red prompts during installation. Once the command finishes executing, close PowerShell and open the installed Microsoft Store to verify if the issue is resolved. A quick reminder before we conclude, ensure your Windows is up to date before following these steps. As we wrap up this guide on resolving the check your connection error in the Microsoft Store, I hope you found these solutions helpful. Remember to stay patient and follow each step carefully. If you've successfully tackled the issue, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. If you're still encountering problems, drop a comment below and I will do my best to assist you. Keep your system running smoothly and until next time, happy troubleshooting.